Anders here from the Baking Steel Test Kitchen. Today we are making the 72 hour dough. Uh, hands on time, you're looking at maybe five minutes. But we're gonna let the time take us into the refrigerator for three or four days and we have our dough. So what I like to do is on uh, Monday morning, I'll make my dough for Friday evening. So we need to prepare a little bit. But the dough is so simple to make. Two things you're going to need. One, you're going to need a scale, a digital scale, so we can measure our ingredients. Um, and then we're going to need a couple of bowls. That's it. Simple, guys. This is um, taking off the Jim Leahy No Need. It's a spin off that. Um, we're going to give it a little, a little kneading and a little bit more time. Uh, we have our bread flour here, a pre measured 500 grams of bread flour. I basically dump it into the bowl, just like that. Um, next, I have my yeast. We use one gram of yeast, we use 16 grams of salt. I'm going to take these and dump them into my bowl. So I take my whisk and literally just whisk this together. And next I've measured out um, one and a half cups of water. I'm going to pour my water into the bowl, just like that. And now I'm just going to blend this stuff and mix this stuff together, just like this. And once I get a little a little whisk there. I'm going to dump this onto my, uh, onto my table. And we're going to give this a little bit of a knead. I'm going to knead this by hand. All these ingredients are incorporated together. Just a little kneading, incorporating everything. And this also gets all the, the clumps out or the any lumps that we might have in the dough. So I'll put this in my clean bowl here. I'll cover that with like maybe a little plastic wrap, if you will, and then um, let it sit at room temp. We'll come back tomorrow and we'll finish this up. All right, we're back. It's been, a, it's been a long night waiting for this dough. It's been, you know, 24 hours. They call this a bulk ferment. So I've let this sit um, out and it's, it's about doubled in volume. Next, my next step is we're going to take this out and we're going to divide it up into equal portions and we're going to throw it into the refrigerator for another 48 hours. So you get your 48 and your 24, that's your 72 hour dough. You can see I'm going to take my dough and just plop it out on the countertop. And I want to lightly flour my surface here, so always have some, always have some flour ready. Just lightly flour my dough. It's a little sticky, it's a very wet dough. <clears throat> I'm going to literally portion off this equal, equally, so you can cut it in half, if you will. Then cut these in half again. That'll give me four pizza doughs. So I want to lightly flour these, and now I'm going to I'm going to knead this up into a ball. I'm going to kind of keep folding it into the center, if you will. Fold and keep your hands nice and floured. Making our dough balls. I'm careful not to not to stretch too much. I'm just folding. You want to keep this dough ball nice and smooth, if you will. I want to rip the strands of the glutens. I'm folding into its into center, if you will. Folding into center. You can see I'm forming a ball. Next, I'll put this in my palm. And I'll literally just pinch this bottom closed. As you can see here, I'm going to have a perfectly round little dough ball. These are about 220 grams, each one of these. And I put these into these Ziploc containers. You can get them almost anywhere. A little bit of oil, stick it in. I cover it. I'm going to throw this into the refrigerator, and I might even date these because I make a lot of doughs. So I always want to keep a fresh date on these, um, and then I'll know on Friday night this dough is you know primed. 